watermelon tuna. Wow, this recipe far exceeded my expectations. I could not believe how fish-like the texture of watermelon became once baked. These grilled watermelon tuna sticks have to be your new summer favorite. They are bursting with flavor, fish-like in texture, salty, spicy, tangy, and most of all, vegan. Okay, here's what happened when you bake watermelon. I was blown away to see the texture that is created when you bake watermelon. The juice is released and the watermelon tightens up, creating a squishy, floppy, fish-like texture. Hmm. I have had so much fun creating and enjoying these grilled watermelon tuna sticks. Alright, you might ask how long does it take to bake watermelon? We slice the watermelon into one inch thick stick to bring the cooking time down to an hour. We have tried skipping the baking part and simply slicing the watermelon, marinating it and grilling it. But here's what happened. Although this method still produces a tasty meal, the watermelon doesn't soak up as much marinade. It actually releases some of its juice back into the marinade, resulting in a less potent flavor. And the texture doesn't change very much. You are left with flavored pieces of slightly less crispy watermelon, but it still tastes like watermelon to me. Baking the watermelon for an hour is the key to creating a fish-like texture. So once the watermelon has released its own liquids, it will soak up the marinade, transforming the flavor of the watermelon sticks. The sticks will still have a tiny bit of crispiness of them, which is absent in fish, but impressive transformation. To create the flavorful marinade, I use soy sauce and miso paste for the saltiness of the fish, rice vinegar and lemon juice for the tanginess, chili garlic sauce and ginger for the peppery spice, sesame oil for the toasty flavor, and optional seaweed for an extra taste of the ocean. But I prefer the bonito flakes, which is more fragrant. <laughs> 